of Vincent Van Gogh's Sunflower Project, we're going to use our first piece of paper and paint some sunflowers. We're going to really work on our watercolor skills. So I dipped my brush in the water and dripped just a little bit of water on top of the colors I'm using. I'm starting out with some of my warm colors, my yellow and my orange yellow, and I'm making the center of my first sunflower. So now that I've painted that circle center, I'm going to just drop in a little bit of brown and you'll notice that the brown kind of travels around um, and I'm going to leave that brown on the center just kind of laying there and then I'm going to start on my petals. I'm going to use yellow orange and I'm going to make my petals. Now if your petals actually touch the center it will pull the color from the center out onto your petals. You're going to see that happen. It's just the reaction that happens and the water likes to kind of the watercolor likes to kind of travel into the other parts of your painting. So just beware that's going to happen. The color will kind of mix together. That's okay. So I'm going to finish my petals. They're kind of a triangular shape. I start out with a triangular shape and fill it in all the way around my first sunflower. For my second sunflower, I'm going to start out with a red center and then I'm going to drop in a little bit of brown on top of that red to give it kind of a, a shadow and so that you can see where the seeds are. After I add the brown and mix that together, drop in a little color, then I'm going to work on the petals. For my petals, I'm going to use some orange and just make some straight lines all the way around my sunflower. Notice that I'm not letting my orange petals touch the center of my flower. That will keep the paint that is in that watercolor circle from traveling out. Now, if you do touch the center accidentally, it's going your um, brown center is going to travel out onto your petals. So it's interesting to see the difference between the two. So I am creating these orange petals and I might even want to let the center travel out into the outside. That's totally up to you, but it is a watercolor technique where the color will pull from one part of your painting to another. So just beware that might happen. For my third sunflower, I'm going to add a green center and some yellow petals all the way around. And after we're done painting your sunflowers, your three different sunflowers, then they need to dry while you work on the rest of your artwork. So I'm going to start with a background piece of construction paper and just a short piece of painted paper. Now this painted paper has some different textures and patterns on it, but it is cut to fit the bottom of my construction paper just like this. See it fits perfectly on three sides, lines up nicely, and doesn't hang off the paper anywhere. So then I'll glue that down, turn over my paper, and give it a nice massage to make sure it has some stick time. And then with my other piece of painted paper, this is just a piece of scrap paper, I am going to create the vase. Now if you would like to, you can create just a very simple rectangular shape and that'll be just fine. If you would like to get a little fancier, I'm going to cut off kind of the um, uneven edges and make more of a rectangle for myself. It is folded in half. On the folded line, I'm going to draw a vase. I'm going to start out, do a curved, almost S line out, and this will make a nice vase shape. So you can pick the shape of your vase, whatever is easiest for you. Once you've cut it out, go ahead and glue it down. Make sure your vase overlaps the bottom paper on your background so that it looks as if the vase is actually sitting on the table. Now that my sunflowers are dry, I'm going to get those back out and you can see that some of the colors kind of ran together and that's okay because I'm going to use some oil pastels and bring those colors back. So for my first sunflower, I'm going to use a little bit of brown and I'm going to go over that center of my sunflower so that you can see it. I'm gonna add some texture lines on each of the petals just so you can tell that those are petals. I'm also going to do this on all my other flowers, kind of reinforce the colors, make them a little brighter, help those lines show up, even outline if you need to, um, and really make my flowers pop and any details that got a little lost I can bring those back out.
once you're happy with your sunflowers, then go ahead and use your scissors to cut them out. Try not to cut off any petals, and we just want to go around the outside contour line of the flower, just right around the outside and cut those out. Then we're going to arrange those on our background with our vase. So find a good position. It's okay if those flowers are hanging off the edge of the paper. That shows space and it shows that those flowers are um, taking up space. It's okay if they overlap. And once you're happy with your composition, then go ahead and glue your flowers down. Now the fun part, we're going to use some model magic to add some 3D flowers right on top of our vase. Now these will be a little bit smaller, so I'm taking my pack of model magic and dividing it up into three or four pieces. My first piece I'm going to roll into a ball and press down. I want to press down and wiggle a little bit to make sure it sticks to the paper. I can press down in the middle and then use my thumb to make petals around the outside edge. Another way to make sunflowers is to take a little ball of the clay, press it down, and then divide the rest of your clay up into little petal shapes. So those are kind of like teardrop or raindrop shapes. And then I'm going to press those so that they stick all the way around the center of my sunflower. As you're creating your sunflowers, you can also use a pencil or a color pencil to make texture. This is actual texture, so I'm making the dots inside of my the center of my sunflower where the sunflower seeds would be. Also, I'm using it to make lines on the petals so that you can see the texture and that um, you can actually feel the texture that's on those flowers. each of your clay flowers is nice and pressed down onto your paper so that it will stick as they dry they will actually stick to the paper really well and then you're going to use some scrap green paper to make some leaves just a few leaves to accent your beautiful sunflowers so I'm using um, just some green construction paper a few different shades of green oil pastels you could also use crayons to create your green leaves and then once you create those then you can cut them out and add them onto your composition
Once your model magic sunflowers have dried and hardened, then it is time to add some color to them. Since they were white, they will accept marker really well. So all you have to do is color straight on the surface of your sunflowers and add the color that you would like to add to those sunflowers. with your markers until you have completely covered up all the white space on your clay. Don't be afraid to mix colors together to make them even more creative. Be sure to sign your vase with your name just like Vincent Van Gogh. Have fun! Mm -hmm. 